Okay, good morning grade 6. So, our next lesson is all about hyperbole. So, here are the following objectives. Examine pictures and construct sentences. Identify statements that express exaggeration and observe and listen to conversations. So, if you are ready, then we proceed with the next slide. Activity 13. That is too much. In this activity, you will thoroughly examine the pictures and complete the whole sentence. Different images are shown below. You have to complete the sentence by writing your answers on the space provided. Answers must show exaggeration. Exaggeration. Everybody say exaggeration. One more time. Louder. An example is done for you. So when we say exaggeration, it's uh, this what we call overacting. Okay, that is too much. An expression that says it's uh, too much. For example, the king's nose is three feet long. The king's nose is three feet long. So based from this picture, you can clearly see that the king's nose is three feet long. Now that is what you call a hyperbole. It shows exaggeration. It overacts something so have you seen a person that has a nose that is three feet long none so nobody exists like that okay so that is overacting so another number one my father can lift blank so here is a picture showing a father lifting a barrel a uh, barrel it's a uh, what do you call this it's a dumbbell or it's a bell. Okay, used in the gymnasium. So my father can lift a 100. Okay, so let us erase this part. Erase, erase. Erase, erase. So my father can lift blank. So my father can lift a 100 kilogram of barbell okay so that is a barbell so is it possible that a man can lift a 100 kilogram of barbell of course not because 100 kilograms would uh, commensurate to a to an elephant can a man lift an elephant no so that is a hyperbole that is exaggeration so all you need to do is to complete the sentence by writing phrases that show exaggeration okay so if you're done with this part then we proceed with the next hi adding you must have known already that there are expressions we utter or say that is too much or showing exaggeration just like the sentence below okay so let us see the sentence below I am so hungry I could eat a horse so what do you mean by that okay so eh, perhaps you did not eat your lunch you did not eat your breakfast your dinner and then you got hungry and you can say you could eat a horse but you know that is impossible so it is not possible that you could eat a whole live horse right it sounds funny, but this is most true when you are really, really hungry. So better eat your breakfast. So the phrase, I could eat a horse, is an exaggeration. It is an overacting. That is a hyperbole. Okay, if you're done with this, then let us remember. Hyperbole shows an exaggerated expression or statement. It describes something as greatly magnified or diminished beyond the strict line of truth. So it's an exaggerated expression or statement. Here is activity 14, which is entitled Overacting. In this activity, you will try to discover the words or phrases that express an hyperbolic statement. So each sentence is divided into three parts shown in different colors. Circle the part that gives the exaggeration. So in your printed learning material, since it was only photocopied, photocopied uh, there are no colors there. So here now, you can see the different colors. So we have green, blue, and red. So number one, it was raining so hard, it seemed that the town would be washed away. 
So which color do you think show exaggeration? Is it the green, the blue, or the red? Right, it's the red. So the town would be washed away shows an exaggeration. Okay, it's an overacting that is hyperbole. Okay, number two. He was so hungry that he could eat an elephant right now. So which do you think is showing an exaggeration? Is it the green, is it the blue, or the red? Right, it's the blue one. So he could eat an elephant because that is impossible. That is an exaggeration. That is hyperbole. That is overacting. So that is what you need to do from number 3 to 10. All you have to do is to encircle the phrase or the statement that would show an exaggeration, an overacting, or uh, a hyperbolic expression. So if you're done with this, then we proceed with the last activity, which is to challenge yourself so you have to listen carefully to your parents teachers friends and neighbors list down four hyperbolic expressions that you heard them say before so uh, you may ask some help from your parents for this one you ask them what expressions they use so you can answer number one two three and four okay so if you're done with this congratulations and god bless keep safe and good luck